Hey guys, welcome back to Watch With Us. My name is John Keel. I'm Anthony Kozlowski, also known as Watch With Me. Watch With Me, or I, as I call him, Koz. <laughs> so uh, we are back in Watch With Us headquarters, Watch Gage headquarters here uh, in super hot Long Island. So hot today. <laughs> it's uh, so. mid 90s almost. Well, mid 90s in the city, low 90s here in uh, Long yeah. Island. Yeah, and you know what, my office, uh, We've got the studio room, I've got an office in the front, and I've got a warehouse behind us, and we've got a couple of AC units that we've been using right. that are not up to par. Uh, we do have a central air getting installed next week, so after- Much needed, after much needed, because also the lighting in here doesn't help with uh, cooling it down. It gets, right, <laughs> yeah, it, as we're trying to cool the place down, the lighting is heating it up. So, uh, so how have you been? Good, good, uh, just wanted to come out and uh, just chat with John, and as we were just sitting here, like, we'll just film a, film a video, some some new things in the watch industry we thought we'd yeah, talk about. Some, there's some fun stuff going on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's some, some good things. We're gonna do a wristwatch check. All right, what do you wear? Uh, my go-to, my Rolex uh, Daytona. This is a, a Mark III dial. This is a 1993, 1994 S-serial number for you geeks out there like me. But uh, Zenith it's a movement. Zenith movement. Right. So um, one of my one of my go-to watches. Uh, I love it. It's funny. It's a gold watch, but I love to wear it just yeah. super casual. I as never I, wear as it I call suit. it, the <laughs> yeah, it's definitely yeah. <laughs> it's definitely a blingy watch. But it's uh, cool. Uh, it works. Works for me. Yeah, it does. It does. <laughs> I couldn't right. picture you wearing it. But no. It works for me. No. I, I'm, I'm trying to think of a situation I would wear it. I can't. Yeah, I couldn't picture it. No, and it's, it's no <laughs> offense to anybody, it's just not my thing. No, no, and, that, yeah. and, and that's why there's so many watches out there. Right, yeah. Yeah, so, right on. What do you got on? Oh, so uh, I'm actually wearing a watch gauge exclusive, which is kind of, oh, I, didn't cool. even, I didn't plan this, I swear to God, but one of the things we're gonna talk about is exclusives. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so uh, I did a, I've done a few watch gauge exclusives right. with a brand called NTH. So this is the newest one uh, that has that's been released. Dial called the Nazario Azoro, yeah. Every time I, I see one of their watches, I can't believe how thin they are. Honestly. 11 and a half millimeters. It's unbelievable for a dive watch. Yeah, 40 millimeters by 11 and a half, 300 meters. Yeah. Uh, their 300 meter depth rating. And uh, hey, look, I mean, you know, you know as well as anybody, I love the super high end. I love entry level. Right. I love micro brands. I love yeah. them all. And uh, you know, this, this piece aesthetically is one of the prettiest watches to me. Just as yeah, far as the yeah. color combinations, uh, everything in the waist. And up. blue blue is like really hot right now. Yeah. Um, Grand Seiko just released, or at least where I work, we, we just received a, a new watch, uh, the new Snowflake, but it's with yeah. a kind of like a very light blue dial. Yep. Unbelievable how beautiful it is. Right now it's on a, it comes with a blue crocodile strap. Yep. But I was speaking with um, the the trainer for the whole U.S. and it's going to be available on a bracelet as well. So uh, right. definitely take a look at that. Is but that a 2019 Basel release? I believe so. Yeah, I believe so. But I probably because of the Royal Oak and the Nautilus Blue is super hot right now. Yeah. A lot of brands are going with the blue dial, but I just think blue on any watch just looks beautiful if it's done right, and that one's done right, and so is the Grand Seiko. I've, I've always been a sucker for blue. I, I'll never forget, and I'm going back a long time when I first got married. Um, my wife and I were going to go somewhere, and I said, oh, you know, honey, which, which, which watch should I grab? And uh, she opened my case. She was like, wear the blue one. Every, I had like 11 watches <laughs> in this case. No joke, every single one had a blue dial of some sort. <laughs> That's funny because yeah. I, I only had one blue watch my whole life. I've, I've never really been into blue watches. Uh, even now, even now, I'd say at least 50% of my collection is blue. Mm. So, but it's just, you know, steel. Like I, like, I like white metal and I like blue, and that's kind of what I gravitate towards. Yeah. Right on. So what we were going to talk about, uh, one of the things we're going to mention is because we're just going to talk about some some things that are going on in the industry and that correlates to special edition right, or limited right. edition is uh, is what Hodinkee does. Yeah. So I think uh, it's interesting because what Hodinkee is now doing with the collaboration pieces with brands, it's almost it's similar to, I think, what uh, Tiffany has done with Patek Philippe, where there, it's almost right. become like a double stamp, but where is capitalizing on is they're not just sticking with one, one brand. brand they're doing it with numerous brands right. and uh, it's just become very smart and uh, the newest piece they just released uh, was the Oris yeah which is why we bring this up because just this week at launch mm -hmm. right which day was that uh, I don't it, it might have been the 26th okay. so just two days ago yeah. today's the I think 28th or so yeah. so it was just released uh, two days ago I think it was a complete sellout in about one hour yeah. and that just shows how many you pieces was it 250 I think right. so pretty pretty low production number for Morris pieces yeah but 250 pieces sell out in hours right really impressive 
So now when, I, I could be wrong, but when Houdinki was starting to do these collaboration pieces, they were in much lower production numbers. Right. And they were really for watch guys. So not, you know, a lot of what Houdinki likes and, and their follower base isn't necessarily what transitions to many sales throughout, you know, all sales. So they really, like, they make a much thinner, much uh, smaller watch, very much like vintage inspired. Yep. And that doesn't necessarily always sell as well. So I think they to start the off, mass market, right. right. So they started off low productions with yeah. uh, IWC and Hoyers and things like that na um, of that nature. But now it's becoming almost like an investment type thing. Yeah. So now I think people, even if you're not necessarily in love with the watch, you're just buying it because you know you're instantly going to make twenty percent, or right. you could make more. Yeah, I mean, if you if you held on to it for a while, for sure, too. Right. I mean, because think about it, how many. I mean, we have a list here. How many limited editions they did? It's uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. It looks like fifteen. And those are all sellouts. And those are all those all sold out in in, in no hours. time. <laughs> right. <laughs> but that's 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 super impressive and mm -hmm. and. And actually, when they first started selling watches, everybody was kind of rumbling, like, you know, well, is that going to change the way they they present their, you know, their media and right. what they're writing? And right. I, don't, I don't feel like it did. No, it's something they do so well. And I think what I give them credit with is they're not going to do a collaboration with a brand that they don't respect and like. Right. So, you know, you're, what they're doing when they put out these pieces, they're, they're letting the consumer know that this is a watch that they would, they would wear that uh, you know would work well in any collection, so it's giving the buyer peace of mind. Right. Well, and which is which is the respectful way to do it. They're not looking at the dollar sign so much. I mean, obviously, it's great for their business, but right. it's more on the lines of this is a watch I would personally wear and own and buy, which is the way anybody selling a watch should sell a watch. Right. Right. It's it's you go into so many stores, whether it be a chain store or a private store, you know, a brick and mortar type of thing, and and it's like they're trying to sell whatever they think they can sell. Sure. You. You know, but if somebody saw from the heart, I mean, I think that's the way you've always sold when you're, you know, in your career. I know that's how I sold in retail. For sure. I mean, I, I can be very transparent when I'm selling watches. If I don't believe in the product, you can read it right on my face. Yeah. But when I fall in I love with, the, with any watch and I'm just telling you why I love it, I think it translates to the client really well. And that's and that's why I was able to sell well, because I was selling what, what I loved. Yep. But I also think that, you know, they could have easily have sold five hundred dollars. Yeah, no, I think. And it's smart. I, I think it's smart that they held back, did two hundred and fifty, which is a good amount yes. for an hour. Sure. I think they were twenty three hundred, maybe twenty five hundred dollars, right around that. Twenty three. Yeah. Yeah. So right around that price range, they could have easily bumped it up to five hundred. But they've pieces. also done Vacherons and mm -hmm. MBNFs that right. were in the twenty thousand right, range, right. right? And even more. I mean, I think the Vacheron might have been in the fifty thousand dollar range. That's awesome. And stainless steel as well. It was That's a crazy. stainless steel piece. So. Right. And I, I personally love their designs that they, they decide to go with. Uh, I like the much thinner profile, smaller chronograph watch that, that they've done in the past with Vacheron. Mm -hmm. um, the Hoyer Skipper they did sold yeah. really well. That's yeah. actually one of the pieces that not only for an investment, but I wish I just bought because I think they actually like it. it perfectly. So, right. you know, I respect what they're doing and, and I'm a fan for sure. Yeah, I, I think it's cool. I think it's super cool. What else is newsworthy? Um, I believe a YouTuber just went to another YouTube channel. Yeah. Yeah, a watch YouTuber. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, TGV. TGV made the went move to Watchbox. To Watchbox. Well, he didn't technically move. It's still the Urban Gentry, still right. the Urban Gentry channel, right? And uh, But Watchbox, I guess, put their efforts behind them. Yeah. And they've partnered up. And I don't know, what do you think? You know what? I like TGV. I got to work with him. I, when I was at Bremont, I invited him in. We shot an episode together, and he's a watch guy, like like you and I, and, mm -hmm. and like a lot of us out there. So I think being able to now have all these watches under his belt, where he can kind of create more content, I think uh, I think will be good for good for him, good for his channel. It will allow him to to kind of open up. Uh, a bit of his perspective with the much much higher end pieces. You know, he's buying a lot of these pieces himself in the past to review and. And, and do uh, videos on, now he can kind of just go in the vault and, and be able to play with these watches. So yeah. I think it could be good for him. Uh, I hope it, he doesn't lose the identity he had with his own channel, but I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Yeah, I mean, which is a lot of the sentiments I'm seeing. You know, I mean, I mean, I'm, I'm, I, I do find it fun to watch the comments and things that are going on <laughs> with all the videos. Look, I, I've been saying this, and I said this with him in, the video, in a video I did with him on his channel. Um, the guy gets a lot of hate, and. I think a lot of it is unjust, and mm -hmm. um, I, I've seen Watchbox's studios. I've been there. I've seen the team. 
they've got a first class operation. Oh, I mean, it's unbelievable. I mean, we're shooting this on our little can of DSLR <laughs> here. They've got like legit television cameras and there. Air and, they, and, and, and air conditioning. And a good air conditioning. Yeah, no, but they have a full editing team. I mean, it's, it's legit. And when you look at, you know, what they're doing, I think it's going to be good for him because he could focus more on creating the content, right. writing, writing the episodes, and like mm -hmm. you said, having access to the stuff. So, yeah. you know, wish him well on that. I mean, yeah. you know. I think it's easy to kind of judge any YouTuber, anyone who's creating content, but now that I'm doing it myself, I have such an appreciation for anyone that's creating content out there, and I understand how much work goes into it, what it involves. So yeah. for that alone, I respect what he's doing, and I wish him the best of luck. I don't know where it's gonna go in the future, but. Hopefully right. all good things for him. Yeah, I agree. I agree. And I think, uh, you know, I don't know if you witnessed it, but I witnessed those keyboard cowboys out there, the guys who just like to, to talk shit just Absolutely. because, <laughs> you know, they, it is what it is. It's part of the game, but it's, it's a lot of fun. Yeah. You know, yeah. I, 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 no matter what comment, positive or negative, I welcome it. It helps the channel. It does way, help the so. channel, right? Even so if you guys write shit about us, <laughs> right, right. right? Like it's like that, they call it the Howard Stern effect, right? Yeah, like people yeah. would listen, tune into him just to, just to see what he'd say next, whether I, they liked him or not. I remember when I first got my first negative comment, I, I text you, I said, oh, this, I got my first negative comment. I got a thumbs down. You said, don't worry. It helps the channel. It helps the channel. All right, I'll let it go. Know, look, that doesn't mean hit a ton of thumbs down. I mean, if you right. like the channel, if you right, like the video, right. please thumbs up helps. But, right. um, no, but yeah, the, it's any engagement's good engagement, I For think, sure. and that's the way the algorithms work. Yeah, and I mean, we're at 1,200 subscribers now. 1,250 today. We were just talking about it. I'm blown away by the support that we have through you all, and yeah. that just shows us that you're enjoying the content. So I just wanna thank you all for who are subscribing. This video is probably gonna come out after the giveaway. Right. So whoever wins those will be announcing them, and congratulations. Uh, but I'm sure we'll do another. We're going to be doing other giveaways, right? I mean, you know, we we're we're giving away uh, three watches, right? Which which if you're watching this, you, we've already given them away, but we haven't given them away right, literally right, right. yet. But we're giving away three watches and a uh, a little bit of a joke of a wall yeah. clock. But but we're giving away some fun stuff, and I know that we do have other things that we have available mm -hmm. to give away. Yeah. So we're going to be doing these things regularly, and look. For us, if we do these giveaways, it helps get new subscribers, more subscribers, more followers on right. Instagram. But on the same token, it benefits you guys because you have the chance of winning some really cool stuff. Yeah. And what do you have to do? All you have to do is subscribe to this channel and subscribe to the, uh, uh, follow the Super Instagram. Easy. Very Super easy. easy. And this is just our way of thanking you guys for allowing us to create the content for you. And you know, if we can give you a watch, why not? Yeah, right, exactly. So I think it's a fair, fair deal. Yeah. All right, brother. So uh, super quick and super easy because the heat, yeah. heat's killing us today. The heat—it's pretty hot. I need to—I need to run. I have a meeting yeah. after this. But uh, that's really it, guys. Thanks for tuning in, and uh, good luck to. Uh, well, I guess actually not good luck. Cause well, the drawing already happened the in their eyes. Happened, but yeah, so. so congratulations to <laughs> yeah, whoever won. Whoever won. And uh, until well, next in time. a few days. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. So, uh, but don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Do follow our Instagram. Uh, also, there's a little bell down here somewhere. If you hit that, it'll alert you when we have new videos come up. So make sure you do that. Make sure you follow Anthony's Instagram. Uh, watch with me as well as all the other team members of Watch with us. In every one of our videos, we've got underneath in the description below where you can follow everybody else. Yeah. So, uh, actually, one more thing, guys. So, uh, on this channel, I kind of do a top five of any given topic. If you have any ideas, leave them down below. What do you want to see a top five on? It could be on a brand, uh, type of watch, but help me make content for you guys. So, yeah. if there's anything in particular you want to hear about, leave a comment down below and let me know. All right. With that, we'll talk to you guys soon. Take it easy. Bye.